faced mm -hmm. Texas in Austin and they have played Arkansas twice. So the Sooners will be the fifth top 25 game that the Mavs have played this year. Here we go on a beautiful Wednesday. That one is fair inside the bag and Brito is unable to get that play made at first. It's just perfect. A little hazy cloud cover tonight back up the middle into center field by Franklin and the first two have reached here for the Mavericks in ball well this one is bunted Keeney out of the circle throws it past Sanders into right a run will score Boone's throw comes into third and it Mavs coming to play making the defense work making Keeney look how far she has to come out of that circle and with the speed of Nysis She's putting the pressure on Kitty not only to range over and field that ball, but make a good play. T.A. on the board first and still nobody out. That is hit right into the glove of Sanders, and she will double off Nysus at first place. A much-needed double play. Response that you want from Keeney. Again, making a pitch, letting your defense work. We heard Coach Gasso talk about it a lot. This In the hole, kind of. Short hop there, but nicely played by Tiare Jennings. The inning is over. Reno has this one deflected off of Corona. A hard hit one hopper by Jada Coleman. Chat Spittlers are played on fire tonight. That one hit to short. Kavas popped up on the infield. Looks like it's going to stay in fair territory and Lindsey Franklin, the first baseman. Pickering lifts this one into shallow left field and that will be caught out there. Inning not lit pressure get too big for you is going to be key. Backhanded here by Torres. She's able to retire. Nikki you have but coming in and getting the midweek start. Fly ball toward left. Pickering chases over into the gap to put away out number two. Swing at this. She's trying to find that sweet spot. Cavazos hits this one. Speared by Brito on a short hop, and the inning is over. So Keeney. Brito rolls this one back toward the shortstop, and it's off the glove of Cavazos. Brito will be safe at first. Plain and simple. This is a good location for Moreno getting Brito to hook and pull, and it'll eat you up. Here's Sydney Sanders in the air toward fairly shallow left, and diving in comes Brinacy. The type of athlete that Alina Torres is. Had a 1-7 pop time to second base on those throws, and she drills this one to center field. It's gone. Alina Torres puts the Sooners on top with a two-run blast to straightaway center field. It's two to one, Oklahoma. Trying to get into that starting lineup, starting rotation, especially at a school like Oklahoma. Oh man, that one hit by Boone right back up the middle, and we'll see if that. Who is your quote-unquote number two? I mean, it's such a luxury. This will be picked off by Corona, the third baseman for the second out. Is away from every team and goes, there are things that we need to be better on. Pulled through the right side by Coleman. Boone is around third. That ball got away from Nicole Hill. Coleman can fly. She races to third. That throw gets away and she'll circle on. Jada Coleman plates two. Really good range out there. Back up the middle and misplayed there by Zaya Castrita. That'll get out into right center field. On the move once again is Parker. She has swiped her second base of the night. And she's throwing good stuff. She is making these plays happen. And that's a walk to Tiare Chen. And there's ball four to load the bases. And Alyssa Brito, who started the... No guessing there. Oh, so am I the middle reliever? <laughs> this is drilled to deep left field. High and deep. And it is gone. Grand slam for Alyssa Brito. And it's 8-1. Oklahoma has unloaded in the bottom of the second inning. In the inning and got things rolling but just took a mistake from Moreno and made the freshman pay.
And that home run is sent it by OERB, the people of Oklahoma Oil and Natural Gas. And now we will have a pitching change on the part of the Mavericks. 21 walks, both lead the Big 12. And there's walk number 22. <laughs> so what do you do with her? She hits it out. Add in her bats on fire. This is smoked to left field by Torres, and she has homered for the second time in the inning. Two two-run home runs in the second inning. Ducks are wild, they say. Three twos, two two-run home runs in the second. A regular situation. It feels like a regular. And Boone hits a high drive to left center field. That's off the wall in left center. Boone's going to stop and take a look. And you saw that this past weekend against Texas Tech. Clearly, they're continuing it right there. And there is ball four to Ludlam. So Boone is. We are ready for this ground ball. We're ready to get out. There's a ground ball backhanded by Castrita. We knew on defense. And we're in the third. This is Avery Hodge gobbling this one up and able to retire Hill for recognizing what she did for that program. Beautiful bunt that's going to be a base hit. But really settling in and letting her pitches work with a nine run lead. That flare lands fair down the left field line. Pickering will pick it up and it's back to backs player of the week. Laid down a sacrifice bunt. Sooners committed an error, and the Mavericks got a run out of it as Torres has to double clock. It's not a grand slam, but it is cutting, nibbling at that lead. It's only third inning. Rolled right back to Keeney. She'll make the play at first inning. Flared out into left center field. Pretty well struck there by Ella Parker. I'm settled. I, I have that experience. This isn't my first game going in. Lilia rifles this one out into left center field. That is headed all the way to the warning track. Nicest picks it up on the track. Lilio cruises. Brings in Cassidy Pickering. Who's 0 for 1 with a walk. Fly ball left center. And the center fielder Nicest is there. Ella Parker is going to tag at third and cross the plate. I think she does. Yeah, three home runs and seven runs driven in in her last two games, does Brito. And Hodge draws the one out walk. Sanders pops this one up straight away center field. Nicest calls for it and has it two down. Looked at the center had to reach out for that one and Nicest puts that one away as well. Sooners get one more run conference play as well to have a non conference matchup like that. Driven to straightaway center field back to the wall core reaches up pulls it back into the park probably saves a haul But you could see the way core jumped. I think she jumped just a little early. Nope. She's in front of the wall had it Just a little early you can see her body start to fall special relationship If you're an outfielder, you know Donahue pops this one up on the infield Quincy Lilio takes care of it Say a Castrita down swinging as Guerin gets out number two. This is the third inning in a row. UTA has had a runner in scoring position. Hodge over to take this one and able to return courage. Yeah, I, from watching this team, and again, tough night as Maya Bland laces that out to right field for a leadoff, regardless of what the scoreboard says. Popped up here by Ludlam. Out near second base, and Castrita puts away that third assistant. And they hired Elizabeth Mason, who played at Florida State. This one is driven, hit very well by four. It's off the top of the wall in right center field. Maya Bland racing around third. She stumbled a little bit, but dives. Pulls this one. May have gotten a piece of the glove of Gooey home runs. Two by Alina Torres tonight. She's driven in four. And Alyssa Brito has a grand slam. Lelio goes after that one. And Gutierrez gets a straight. Same opponent three straight times. It kind of allows you to focus a little bit more on just that one thing as Hodge rifles one across here to get Nicole Hill. So, got more innings. Monticelli proves herself time and time again. She's going to get more opportunity.
Corona rolls this one over to Lilio, and the Sooners are one out of what? Cue, beautiful spot from Monticelli with the screwball. Monticelli gets the strikeout to finish it, and the Sooners win 12-1 in a five-inning run.